Attack on Titan is finally finished after 10 long years, so to celebrate this epic moment, we're going to be ranking all of the openings. I just want to say really quick at the top of the video, what an incredible journey mm -hmm. Attack on Titan has been. Just imagine where you were when season one came out. I just can't comprehend how much impact it's had on the anime manga community. I know a lot of people have different feelings and thoughts about the ending, but I thought the ending was beautiful. It was tragic. And honestly, ending something like Attack on Titan would be such a complicated, insane task to accomplish, but I could not think of a better way for it to come to an end. And honestly, from the way people were talking about it when the manga ended, I thought it was gonna be like, and it was all a dream. Right, right. And Aaron wakes up as a child <laughs> under the tree after dreaming this whole situation. So at least it wasn't that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we'd love to know your thoughts about the ending in the comments. Let us know what you thought. Um, and obviously let us know your rankings of the OPs too. Let's jump into it. Okay, so do we have our, our tier list oh, ready? Oh, absolutely, it's all done. <laughs> We're just kidding. We're gonna try really hard <laughs> not to rank all of these S tier, but I don't, I don't know if we'll accomplish that. Starting with season one's OP, we're just gonna give a little context because we like to know what's going on uh, in this season when these OPs are playing. Our story begins as we venture into the walls of humanity and meet our main protagonists, Eren, Mikasa, and Armin, and we learn of a mysterious threat to humanity known as the Titans. One fateful day, a colossal Titan appears over the wall and breaks the outer gate, allowing the man-eating Titans to enter the district, wreak bloody havoc, and forcing humanity to flee or die. Years later, Eren, Mikasa, and Armin graduate the 104th Training Corps, however, the day after graduation, the Colossal Titan appears again and kicks the outer gate in the outlying city of Trost. The newly graduated cadets join the fight to defend the city, however, Aaron's squad is quickly decimated and Armin is almost eaten, but gets saved by Aaron, who gets eaten in his place. Aaron unlocks his attack titan powers and is able to get humanity's first win against the titans. I haven't watched season one's OP in so long. Mm -hmm. And this of course is the first OP for the first 13 episodes. Go to No Yumiya by Link to Horizon. Oh my god, uh, when things were so much simpler. <laughs> I know, right? When we thought it was just a, like, a fight against Titans. Right. <laughs> oh, just it's so Everybody good. brooding. The war is hell. Because it was so dark. It yeah. was like humanity's first win. Right. <laughs> like, Where the threat was just these, the pure Titans. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> this this music is so good. And if you haven't watched the live versions of this, right. oh my god. Oh, so And good. just like the, the animation of everybody flying through the city yeah, all through. Yeah. Oh my god. Because it is such beautiful animation from Wit, but this, to, to kick off such an epic, epic series. Oh my god, in the scene with them. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Classic. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, so good. And then just <laughs> the front flip. <laughs> Everyone jumping. Everyone yeah. flying, yeah. Oh god. So good. Ugh. I love it. It is. This is so good. Such an epic start to the story. For me, I'm putting that S tier out of the gate. I'm doing S tier yeah. too because it was like the, the anthem of it was. It's right. just like, mm, yeah. oh, it's really good. Yeah. Moving on to season one, core two, OP Juno Subasa by Linked Horizon. This covers the whole end half of season one, in which after the battle in Tross, Aaron is assigned to Squad Levi as a member of the Survey Corps, and they embark on a mission outside of the safety of Wall Rose. We we learn of the female titan that kills many cadets on the expedition, including all of Squad Levi except Eren. And Mikasa and Levi are barely able to save Eren from the female titan's grips. We also learn the female titan is actually a member of the 104th Training Corps, Annie. A devastating battle in Stoa's district ensues and reveals titans within the walls. An insane, insane. So many reveals. I can't like choose between which OP I like better of all of Link to right. Horizon. But it has it doesn't need to be this beautiful or, or go, go this, this hard. hard. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. This is the one that I saw on Instagram once. It was like this isn't a country's anthem. This is the theme for an anime. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, Mikasa so. though. Yeah. 
Oh, the blood. Yeah. Kind of just ah. raining down. Because like we're getting like deeper into the story with just more questions. Oh, oh god, this so part is so good. Cool. You get chills. Oh my god, all the squad Levi though. Oh yeah, and the just ODM. All the 3D gear. ODM gear. <laughs> oh my god, this is this like makes me very emotional. Yeah. Like such chills. Dang, I think we ranked the first one too. <laughs> <laughs> I want to rank this one above it. Oh god, it's so Aaron. good. Oh. Yes, and then like the epic, yeah. like it gets more intense. Oh, so good. Oh, it is so good. I mean, I'm unapologetically putting this up at S tier. Oh, okay, yeah, S tier. Yes. <laughs> oh no, we're gonna rank all of these That's S tier. Fine. Moving on to Season 2's OP, Shinzo Sasagi by Linked Horizon. In Season 2, a group of Titans appears inside the walls, signalizing a possible breach of Wall Rose, and the members of the 104th Training Corps find themselves in a bloody fight against those Titans and the Beast Titan. The scouts regroup on top of Wall Rose, and the biggest betrayal in anime history is revealed. Reiner is the Armored Titan, and Bertolt is the Colossal Titan, and they were the ones that attacked the Wall five years ago. They kidnap Eren, but the Survey Corps, along with some members of the garrison, save him, and Eren is able to use some kind of power to control Titans. I already know this one's gonna be an S yeah. for me. <laughs> yeah, without a doubt. I'm glad I dressed appropriately for this one. Oh god. So good. Now oh. we've got we've got a little bit of a grip in this and back when everyone was so innocent yeah. though, including myself. <laughs> this is how I get dressed oh, every morning. The scarf flips. So good. And they're all still, like, mm -hmm. friends. Yeah. <laughs> like, why do I have chills every single OP? Oh, oh this hero look shot. At everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I love it. I don't know who that baby is, but... <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. oh, and the Colossal Titan throwing all oh. of these. Oh, And so then Mika's a throw here. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh my god. And all of us confused, like, why is there like, a whale? Why? why is there a dinosaur? <laughs> <laughs> this is 100% S tier. 100% S tier. God, it's so good. We can't rank all of them as Why? Either. This is our list. We can do whatever we want. Moving on to season three's first OP, Red Swan by Yushiki and Hyde. During the first half of season three, the scouts fight redirects from Titans to MPs and the royal government. We learn a ton about the Titans, the royal family, history beyond the walls, King Fritz, Aaron's father Grisha, etc. And the royal government is overthrown and Aaron unlocks his hardening power. So much information. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. dumped on us, which clears up a lot of things, but also gives us more questions. Right. I love this one. Yeah. I know a lot of people like this is people's like least favorite right. one, but this one I still listen to Red Swan today because it's such a divergent from the like, huge action pack. shift. Yeah. yeah, huge shift. And oh, and the kids. Them as kids. Yeah, seeing everyone as yeah. kids. Oh, oh, see, this one has a lot more emotion for me. Right. Because you're getting a lot more, like, backstory yeah. from everybody. We do uh, learn about all of their yeah, childhoods. Yeah, Aaron's dad, and with Frida. Ugh. Oh. It's so disloving. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cringy, but it's so good. Life? Why am I still here? <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, it's so good. No, it's so good. And it's so sad, especially it's... looking at this to like what happened. where we end up, um, right? Oh. Oh god. It's so sad. The answer was right in front of us the whole time. Oh. And seeing little Levi yeah. kills me. <laughs> little Ervin who still just looks like a grown-up. <laughs> Just like a miniature version yeah. of him. I mean, I still want to give that S tier, man. I, I mean to, but we can't. So good. Yes, we, we can. can. We can do whatever we want. Okay, this is fine. Our Another S tier. 
we did that S tier thing as a joke before, but, <laughs> but it might be real. Moving on to season three, core two's OP, Shoke Toshikabane no Michi by Linked Horizon. In this part of season three, the Survey Corps sets off to retake Shiganshina and get to Eren's father's basement. A horrible and devastating battle ensues, and when all is done, Eren dies. Armin becomes the new Colossal Titan, Levi's grudge for the Beast Titan begins, and we learn about life off of the island of Paradis, plus a whole bunch of history stuff about the Titans and Grisha Jaeger. We also make it to the sea. Make it to the sea, where all of our enemies are. Because it's just like a callback to like earlier seasons in this. We're back in Shiganshina. Oh, Levi. Oh my god. Oh, there's a slow motion. Damn. Oh, and that meetup. Yeah. Oh. Like how everything happened. Because like we're we're far enough into the story now and having this like theme callback. Yeah. This battle at this point uh, yeah. was like the most intense we've seen. It's like, my soldiers rage! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it like, makes me want, it's like, it's like making me tear up. <laughs> and like that classic scene of them going through the streets of Shiganshina. Yeah, Armin wakes up as a colossal, yeah. yeah. So good. Oh my god, and all the dead comrades. Yeah. I can't. And then getting out to the outside. Yeah. And then everything just ending with the basement. Yeah. Oh my god. Little we do, do we know that the story isn't even like halfway done. No. <laughs> I'm giving that an A. I would say out of all of the anthems, yeah. it's my least favorite. Okay, one. I will say A. I'll yeah. say A. I'm yeah. safe to say A because okay. it does throw back, it gives us some good memories, but it doesn't live up to the rest of them. Moving on to the final season, Core 1, we have My War by Shinsei Kamatechan. We start the final season in Marley and we meet a bunch of the warriors and warrior candidates. Eren attacks Liberio and kills a bunch of people and the scouts have no choice but to back him up. The Aegeris coup in the name of Eren and the island is thrown into chaos as Marley attacks. Just a shit show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this one has a special place in my heart. Yes. Just because of how weird it was. Yeah, and how it started. Also, but, like when we started this season, we we're like, who the hell are all of these people? I know. Where's Armin? Where's everybody? Where's yeah. But this OP has grown on me a lot. Yeah, I I hated this OP when I first heard it. I'm like, where's my anthem? Ah! <laughs> it's so good. I love yeah, this one. It's so good. The colors. Right. Just like how brutal all of this war is. Because it changes animation studios mm -hmm. and all of a sudden it feels like a completely different anime yeah. because it's the time jump, we got new characters. Aaron is now like. Broody. Yeah. More broody. <laughs> this is my last war. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> and the, oh god, it's so good. It's so because it's like unnerving a little bit, right, you know? It's right. like a little eerie. Oh Ugh. my gosh, in the first episode with the Titans the falling. The Titans falling out, yeah. So good. And this theme was yeah. so good. Because it's like, this could be taken out of context just as like, you know, a war anime, but then you get all the Titans in it. and just... Yeah. Yeah, and this part, so good. Yeah. And doesn't have any of our characters right. in it, like until, until the yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah. And that scene alone, like, really just really sets That's us up. That's gonna for be the last S season. another S tier, S -tier for, for me. me. Wow, yeah. it's so good. Moving on to the final season, part two with the rumbling by S I M. Long story short, uh, Aaron starts the rumbling and sets off to destroy the world. No big deal. <laughs> It's unfair how good they made all these OPs. I know. I know. It's the, unfair. <laughs> the music video for this one was like a little like early 2000s, but. Oh, I'm Let's getting go. chills. God. Give me my metal anthem. Let's go. I hate like screamo right. metal, but I love this. Yeah. Because again, this is another one where I was just like, Oh, this is this isn't like music that I normally listen to, Screamo kind of intro, but sweet God, it's good. Oh, it's 
so good. And it's so, I still listen to this yes. song on all my playlists. <laughs> oh, poor <laughs> boy. Ugh. This part, oh my God. And it's so like impactful yeah. for the this final build up. season. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh more. So god, I love it. Oh, and everybody. Oh my god. And just like how it's just like talking about it outside the wall. Yeah. Losing it all. Going back to the tree. So oh, good. And just the emotion from Aaron. God. S tier. S tier. Yeah. <laughs> and now moving on to the final chapters. And the final chapters, spoiler, obviously, if you haven't seen the end, Aaron rumbles and Mikasa kills him and a lot is revealed about Aaron and the reason behind his actions. And it's just... So, so tragic. But in the end, our characters are able to live out their lives in peace. But in the end end, conflict continues and the cycle begins again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So these ones don't have our classic OPs in the sense that there was just two like long specials. Right. But for the first OP, we have Under the Tree by S.I.M., which is the theme for the final chapters special one. Mm. The scarf, no! Oh god, just the oh. crawling bugs. Oh, it is just haunting. Look at this. And just Aaron creeping through, but then the flashbacks of young Aaron. Because it's oh, like, you get the, the tension and just like... All of these flashbacks? Because yeah. like, it's like showing how we got here. Right. Oh god, it's tragic. Oh god. And like my shots god. from the other, other OPs. Oh. oh god. It's like everything that's led us to this point. <laughs> and like now looking back on it, you can just like you can see his reason for doing everything and just it was just a <laughs> Damn. God. Like, how did we get here? <laughs> Anytime I see a tree now. I know. <laughs> that doesn't happen, Titan Oh. Uh. Oh, the walking. Uh. Ugh. No. Just... It's like the dream to get outside the walls. Yelena and the... Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, no! God. And then just like going back to like, why? Why? Because like nobody knew until the very end. Mm. Oh my god. Oh god, it's like all of those like literally crushing scenes. Damn. Oh god, yeah. It's like I only brought you here to tell you that we're not we don't need to talk about anything. But he was just pushing them away. Oh god. And this oh. is this is Oh. Yeah. This is beautiful. Yeah, let me take all of this on. Oh, God. When they do the throwbacks to other OPs, that's what gets me. This is too much. This is too much. It's so tragic. Oh. The last time we saw Aaron, right. like, without pushing them all away. <laughs> the turning point yeah. there. 
Poor little boy, just shouldering all of this. Oh my god, too much. That was, was really much. good. S tier. S tier. S tier. It's gotta be. Oh my god. I feel bad for this one OP that's just the just only Just the only A? <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, for the final chapters, we have Saigo no Kyojin, The Last Titan by Linked Horizon. They'll be taking the two specials and breaking them into seven episodes, so this will actually be the OP mm -hmm. uh, for all of those. I haven't heard this one, but knowing that it's Linked Horizon... Uh... Oh, I know. They're finishing with Linked Horizon, yeah. bringing them back. So good. Mm. Oh gosh. Look at this, it looks so good. Mir was there the whole time. Oh, this is. Yeah, and yeah. bringing back that like sampling from the yeah. previous OPs. It's like, it's oh, this is how we got back, here. back, yeah. Oh my god. Uh, and just like speeding through how we got there. Oh my gosh. From the start all the way to the paths and the rumbling. This is so crazy. Oh. Because it's got that same emotion. I know. Oh my god, and everyone just... Oh, and all of yeah. them, oh no! Because you've got that same da 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 God, all of these, just like the evolution of every single one of these OPs. Damn. Hmm, I'm gonna give this one... I'll give it an A. I'll give it an A. I'll give it an A because it's really good and I love the callbacks yeah. to it. But for me, it just doesn't live up to the other Link to Rise. Yeah, OPs. the first yeah. few, yeah. And we've got a special mm -hmm. edition. We're going to watch the OP from Attack on Titan Junior High. Possibly the best Attack on Titan ever created. <laughs> The fact that the OP visuals are the same yeah. as the actual anime, it's but it's just junior high. all the chibis, yeah. And it's just like talking about how like junior high life is so hard. It's so good, look at that. Their heads oh are so big. God. And now oh. this could have been the ending where he looks at his hand trembling with the ODM gear and then it flashes into a pencil. <laughs> you think that's how it should have yeah, ended? He yeah, he just wakes up and he's actually just at junior high. At junior high, yeah. But this song is so good. I think it like rivals like the cleaning crew. <laughs> oh my god. Because it's the, the same visual. This. Yeah. <laughs> going through the classroom. Oh. Oh my god. They didn't have to go hard they on such a stupid show. Oh. oh my god. And just like going from like to a major key, it's so good. Oh. <laughs> because the Titans keep trying to steal their cheebergs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so and they're good. all jumping yeah. in it. Oh my god, so good. Yes. <laughs> but just chibi. Cheeberg! I can't. It's so funny. And then Connie. <laughs> Uh, S tier. S tier hands down. Okay, I'm giving this an A. I'm giving this S tier, so between <laughs> S and A. I can't possibly rank that alongside all the others. <laughs> all right, there are our final rankings for all of the OPs from Attack on Titan. Um, almost all S tier. Yeah. This is probably the most biased list mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we've had so far, but... Uh, We're not wrong. <laughs> let, us, let us know your rankings in the comments below. If you enjoyed our video, like and subscribe for Let's Watch Some Anime. I've been Vinny. I'm Molly. And we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs> This is my last war. La 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 la. la.